welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says, prove that the product of the lengths of the perpendiculars drawn from the points square root of a square minus b square 0 and minus square root of a square minus b square 0 to the line x by a cos theta plus y by b sine theta is equal to 1 as b square. Let's now begin with the solution. Let P1 be the length of perpendicular from the point square root of a square minus b square 0 to the line x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1. We know that the perpendicular distance of the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 from a point x1 y1 is given by mod of ax1 plus by1 plus c upon square root of a square plus b square. Here a is equal to cos theta by a, b is equal to sin theta by b, and c is equal to minus 1. And point x1, y1 is square root of a square minus b square 0. So now substitute these values in this formula and this distance is equal to P1. So we have P1 is equal to mod of cos theta by A into square root of A square minus B square plus sine theta by B into 0 minus 1 upon square root of cos square theta by a square plus sine square theta by b square. This is equal to square root of a square minus b square by a into cos theta minus 1 upon square root of cos square theta upon a square plus sine square theta upon b square. Let's name this equation as equation number 1. Now let P2 be the length of perpendicular From the point minus square root of a square minus b square 0 to the line x by a cos theta plus y by b sine theta is equal to 1. By using the formula for perpendicular distance, we find that P2 is equal to minus square root of A square minus B square upon A into cos theta plus 0 minus 1 upon square root of cos square theta A square plus sine square theta upon b square. Let's name this equation as equation number 2. We have to show that product of these two perpendiculars is b square. 
that is P1 into P2 is equal to B squared. So let's now find P1 into P2. P1 is equal to square root of A square minus B square upon A into cos theta minus 1 upon square root of cos square theta upon A square plus sine square theta upon B square. P2 is equal to minus square root of A square minus B square by A into cos theta minus 1 upon cos square theta upon A square plus sine square theta upon B square in square root. This is equal to minus square root of A square minus B square by A cos theta minus 1 into square root of A square minus B square upon A cos theta plus 1 upon cos square theta upon A square plus sine square theta upon B square. And this is equal to minus a square minus b square upon a square into cos square theta minus 1 upon b square cos square theta plus a square sine square theta upon a square b square. And this is equal to minus a square cos square theta minus b square cos square theta minus a square upon a square upon b square cos square theta plus a square sine square theta upon a square b square. This is equal to minus a square cos square theta plus b square cos square theta plus a square upon a square by b square cos square theta plus a square sine square theta by a square b square. By taking a square common from these two terms, we get a square into 1 minus cos square theta and this is equal to a square sine square theta. So now we have a square sine square theta plus b square cos square theta upon a square upon b square cos square theta plus a square sine square theta upon a square b square. And this is equal to a square b square upon a square and this is equal to b square. Hence, we have proved that product of lengths of perpendiculars drawn from the point square root of a square minus b square 0 and minus square root of a square minus b square 0 to the line x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to 1 is b square. This completes the session. Bye and take care.